Hello YouTube, Akers here again with another Cinema 4D tutorial and today's lesson is the first in the series of Espresso tutorials where we're going to be covering the basics of Espresso. So today's lesson we're going to be learning how to control multiple objects within your scene with just a few sliders so you can see that I'm controlling all three of these cubes with just a simple slider. So this is really useful if perhaps you've got a lot of objects in your scene that you'd like to control with just simply one or two sliders. So that's what we're going to be learning today. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just going to add a cube first off. And I'm going to copy and paste this cube. So now we have three cubes. Cube 1, cube 2 and cube 3. And the next step is to add a null object and we can do that by coming over to the objects tab and selecting null object. And if we double click this we're going to rename this cube controller. So this is where all the controls for the cubes are going to be attached to this null object. So now that we have our null object the next step is to actually create the sliders itself and we can do that by defining the user data and we do that by selecting our null object coming over to the attributes menu and you're going to see a user data drop down menu if you select that and select manage user data we're going to get this nice dialog box and this is where we basically add all the sliders and all that good stuff so I'm just going to add a group and I'm going to drag it out of the user data group so it's on its own and we're going to rename this group cube options and I'm going to create another group within the options and we're going to name this size options okay so now we're ready to create our first slider and we can do that by selecting add data and we're going to rename this size.x so this slider is going to be affecting the x size okay so now what we have is a number of parameters and attributes that we can change the first one that we're going to change is the interface and we're going to change that from float to float slider and that's going to give us a nice slider effect and we're also going to change from percent to meter so it's instead of being in percentage it's going to be in centimeters which the cubes are defined by so currently all the cubes are set to 200 centimeters by 200 centimeters so what we're going to do, we're going to set the default value to 200 centimeters, And we're going to select the limit max and set that to 10,000. So that's going to be the highest that it can go. And the slider max, we're just going to set that to 1,000. So the slider max, it will go up to 1,000. But if you wanted to, you could go up to 10,000. But we're just going to keep it to 1000 now and set the default value to 200 centimeters that's all good and if we select OK now and we come over to our null object you can see we have our nice slider but it's not actually affecting anything and that's because we haven't linked them up within the Espresso dialog box and we can do that by simply right clicking on the null object selecting tags Cinema 4D tags and then come down to Espresso. That's going to create a Espresso tag on the null object, and it's also going to bring up the Espresso editor dialog box. Okay, so the next step is to drag our null object into the Express editor, and also we're going to drag cube one, cube two, and cube three resize them a little bit just so they're all nicely sized and in line 
like so. Okay, so if I select the cube controller and I select the red output and we come down to cube options. Now if you remember that's the cube options is whatever you named your group within the user data. So if you remember we created a group called cube options and then within that group we created size options and then we created the size x slider so all you have to do is select that and then come over to the input of cube 1 and we're going to go down to object properties size size.x and we're also going to do the same for cube 2 so object properties size size.x same for cube 3 object properties size dot x and now all we have to do is pick whip the output into the input like so just connect all three of these and now if we exit the espresso editor and come over to our null object we can see now that we can now control all three of these cubes just with one slider so that's pretty much the basics of using Expresso to control a number of objects if you wanted to add the the Y and Z value all you'll have to do is follow the same process come over to our null object select manage user data and then select the size options and then select add data and for example we'll call this one size dot y and once again change the interface to float slider the unit from percent to meter and we're going to set the maximum to 10,000 and the slider max to 1000 and we're going to set the default value to 200 once again and select OK so now we have the size.y parameter but it's not, it's not affecting anything and that's because once again we need to link them up within the Expresso editor so all we have to do is double click on the Expresso tab and if we come out come over to the output of the cube controller and go into our cube options again size options you're going to see now that we have a size.y that we just created and all we have to do is select that and like we did before select the input of the cubes select object properties size size.y oops object properties size size dot y do the same for cube 2 size dot y and the same for cube 3 which is size dot y and then once again all we have to do is pick whip these and link them up so y to y now that we've done that if we exit the espresso manager come over to our null object and if we move the y axis you can see now that we're affecting the y size as well as the x size as well and if you wanted to add one for the z size all you'd have to do is follow that same process again so that's pretty much the tutorial on how to control a number of objects with just a few sliders using Expressa so I hope you found the tutorial useful and you learned something new. So thanks for watching and I will see you again very soon in another video tutorial. Catch you later guys.